Nostalgia motivates reverie or reminiscence. And when you reminisce, what you're doing is you're bringing the past forward. It's not that you're returning to the past. A lot of times people misunderstand it and they think you want to regress, you want to go back. Uh, quite the contrary. You probably asked yourself this many times, but I wonder why nostalgia exists. Because I could see an argument that nostalgia you know, has you always looking in the rearview mirror and not looking at what's ahead in some ways. Maybe you're not thinking about progress or pushing your own life forward because you're thinking about what's already happened. Why do we get nostalgic? Nostalgia does date back thousands of years. So presumably it's a part of the universal human experience that probably always existed and therefore probably always will. If it always existed, then it must serve certain needs that humans have. And some of the needs that it appears to serve uh, in terms of my research and the research of others who've uh, also jumped into this uh, theoretical arena have to do with two really important aspects of being a healthy person. One is to be connected, surprisingly, to yourself, meaning we change so much over one lifespan. So if you look back at photos in the family uh, album of yourself as a baby or a toddler, it's almost impossible to relate to that. And so one of the most important philosophical questions is, how do we even know that we are the same person we were 15 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever? And keeping track of what we call identity, 